Hey guys, figured I'd do a uh, EDC video. It's been a while. I uh, haven't had time with work and school. It's been real busy. And uh, also, uh, don't have access to that camera I used to. You know, I had a pretty good setup, but I was my roommate, and so anytime I want to do something, you know, on my own, it's, you know, it's hard for me to make a quality video, so I'm trying my best. Um, <laughs> so, getting right into it, this is what I've been carrying mostly. Um, you guys know the knives change, but this is my most carried combo probably in the last mm, three months or so. So, get right into it. Um, my favorite knife that I've ever owned. I've owned three of these. Simenza 25, uh, Simenza 21, Micarta, and the Simenza 21, you know, classic, which is the, the titanium scales. Um... I, I'll never get rid of this knife. I've sold the other two, but this one's just too classic and, you know, it's just, in my opinion, the perfect EDC knife. And I do use it. You know, I mean, my tasks, my EDC tasks are not going out and batoning wood and, you know, all that shit that some people do. And if that's what you guys do, that's awesome, you know. But, you know, for my tasks and what I need a knife for, a Sabenza does its job perfectly. Um, this is probably my most carried um, traditional knife in the last few months. My grandpa actually gave this to me. It's a uh, case, you know, commemorative war series, Vietnam War. It's got the uh, helicopter kind of engraved into the bone, uh, the bone covers, and just really, really cool knife. Um, Super affordable too for a nice high quality knife. I'm not sure about the commemorative series because this was a gift, but uh, I know just the regular case trappers are super affordable if you're just trying to get into, you know, uh, traditional folders. Um, always carry a mini bic. You know, this thing weighs nothing. It's I don't smoke, but it's good to have. Uh, car key this I keep it unattached from that just because it's kind of bulky you know and I don't like it banging around so I kind of put it in its own little pocket uh, flashlight streamlight stylus pro carry this every single day it's been very well loved um, just bright enough you know they make they make flashlights now that are brighter they make flashlights that are smaller that have more lumens but to me this thing's never let me down and it's just the perfect size and just perfect for everything I need it for. Um, keys, just keep on this cheap carabiner that I got with, I think I bought some uh, paracord at like Academy or something, and it came with this carabiner. Not bad, I mean it's super cheap, but it's not bad for hanging your keys off your belt loop. Just have my keys, motorcycle key, you know, car, or not car key, house keys, um, lock keys. I do have this line armory bead on there, which is super cool, real high quality craftsmanship. Um, I did buy this for a knife bead, but after getting it and trying it for a little bit, it's just, it's just a little too big and heavy to be hanging off a knife for me. Um, but it's super sweet. I don't want to get rid of it because I do love it. So I put it on this, uh, leather boot lace lanyard that I made. And I just think it looks really, really cool. I believe it's copper, but awesome bead. Um, the wallet, it did change. Um, now that I'm wearing jeans and boots, I think this kind of cowboy checkbook style wallet goes better with that for me. Um, so there I got ID, uh, window, you know, all my card slots, cash, all that good stuff. I do keep a pen in here because it just fits so nicely. You don't even realize it's there. Um, this is a zebra pen. Super affordable. got these at Target. Uh, it's a two-pack for like five or six bucks. And it's super smooth riding, uh, stainless steel, and so I'm not afraid to leave it in my wallet, you know, and sit on it. It isn't going to break or bust open like a plastic pen might, so I'm not worried about it. Um, watch. I actually just got this. Really digging it. Um, come on, focus. Well, there we go. It's the Timex uh, Expedition. Really, really cool watch. Um, super cheap. It's like 30 bucks, but you know, and it's not the best made watch, but 
you know, for 30 bucks, you can't beat it. I um, usually wear a G-Shock, but I'm kind of trying out the new, new look of, you know, kind of a field watch with, you know, a canvas strap. And I really like it, you know. Um, my EDC firearm, it's changed a lot. You guys know I love, you know, many different guns, and I'm pretty sure I have, you know, 10 different guns now, and I've gone through 10 other ones since I made my last uh, video. I just buy and sell and try new stuff. You know, I only have so much, so much expendable income, and I like to try a bunch of different firearms, so that's kind of what I have to do. But I still have my Glock 19. I'll never sell that, and that is, for me, the perfect, you know, colder weather carry. You know, if I'm wearing a hoodie or a jacket or a flannel shirt or something, you know, something more than just a t-shirt, a Glock 19, outside waistband, holster with, you know, a, a weapons light. It's just perfect for me. I don't have it with me right now. It's in the other room, and I didn't want to go. Um, didn't want to go in there. I'm just filming this in the living room, just kind of impromptu. But uh, I will show you my, I guess, living room gun. You know, you gotta have a gun for every every room in the house, and it is the uh, Canic TP9 SF. Just got this, and um, it is loaded. It's always loaded. Deal with it. But uh. Awesome, awesome gun. It was like 350 bucks, and this Desert Tan is pretty sweet. But, uh, you know, shot a couple hundred rounds through it, and everything has been working fine. Um, you know, I had my uh, reservations about buying, you know, a $350 gun, and, but especially for the money. I mean, if you told me this was $500, you know, I'd believe it. Um, it's worth it, I believe. So for 350 bucks, you can't beat that. And I'm gonna put a few hundred, a few more hundred rounds through it, and just kind of make sure um, that you know the the reliability is there. And if so, I'm thinking about getting a uh, outside the waistband holster made for it, and I might carry that uh, here in the next couple months or so. But really digging it. But uh, yeah, so that's just kind of an overview of what I've been carrying, new stuff going on, you know. Um, really, really, this kind of side point but i'm really getting into watches um this thing just kind of opened my eyes so there's a lot more out there than just a g-shock you know um i know this is only a 30 dollar timex but that style i really like um so if you guys kind of looking at uh different seikos different uh citizen models you know kind of in the about 200 dollar range or something that's kind of my max right now just because i'm getting into them but i don't want to been too much money yet i don't know how how far into that you know hobby i'm gonna go but uh if you guys have any experience in that or recommendations i'd definitely love to hear it um but yeah just uh, like comment subscribe and let me know what you guys think i uh, appreciate you guys watching thanks